Arsenal's pursue for a right back who is really good going forward and good defensively is not yet over. However, much they are having two right backs in the names of Ben White and Tomiyasu, Mikel Ateta and Arsenal are still monitoring Ivan Frenzneda from Valladolid, the Spanish prospect from from Valladolid playing in the Liga is with one of those that they are keeping tabs on to. Dema Fries has been rubbished, all poured water on by Fabrizio Romano and we had to let you know what we think about those stories. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. Good morning. How are you guys? And where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And secondly, go ahead and really subscribe to this channel because the more you subscribe to this channel, the more we grow deep in numbers. And I think we're left with um, how many? We are left with uh, how many subscribers? I think 39 or 40 to hit 12,000 subscribers. So guys, continue to subscribe such that we hit that milestone by the end of the day. And I know we can make it happen. Arsenal's game versus Man City streaming record med. I don't know what you're going to react to it as because you Arsenal fans lost and I know Arsenal fans watch this channel mostly. So I don't know what it means to you. And lastly, Emily Smith was gonna have to reveal his best friend at Arsenal. And obviously it's not it's not a heart, it's not pulling a rabbit. He has not pulled a rabbit from the heart. It's a usual answer that you expected from him. Now, let's start off with Ivan Fresneda. Is he 18 years of age playing for Valdorid? Very good player. I watch him sometimes when I see. Valdorid playing Barcelona, Valdorid playing Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, um, Valencia. I've watched him a little bit and I started to give him attention in the general transfer window when he was being linked up to Arsenal and I knew why Ateta is in for this player. And Fabrizio Romano had a lot to say about a story of Franz Neda to Arsenal and this is what he had to say that I'm not aware of any negotiation between Arsenal and Inter Milan for Denzel Demafries. They are exploiting right back options, and Ivan Fresneda remains appreciated. They are sending scouts regularly to follow him up. Now, he has poured water onto Demafries. Remember, how does this deal of Demafries come into play? It came into play in the January transfer window when his agent flew to London to discuss the future of his player um the future of his player with uh, the future of his player with the Chelsea Manchester United and Arsenal when you look at all these teams they were in need of right backs but Chelsea went in and signed Molo Gusto and obviously he'll be a backup for he'll be a backup for West James that's it now after that that means two teams are really looking in for right back who is really going to come in and really deputize one of the best they're really having at Arsenal. But United, Bissaka and Dalo, Eric Ten Hag is still sounding that he wants to sell Aruan Bissaka and get in a very good right back and waiting to see whether it's going to be Denzel Demafries. So that leaves a door open for a deal of Denzel Demafries to join Manchester United. Not so. When you go to a player, when you go to the team of Arsenal, <laughs> I believe when you look at Ben White and uh, Tomiyasu, they are good players, but I think they're not top class. <laughs> they're not top class because where Arsenal is going, they will need the best of the best to play in every position. As you see them bring in Yakub Kivio to come in and really take over Gabriel Magalis because Gabriel Magalis is not good playing or building the ball from the back, bringing in Zichenko bringing in uh, Saliba, look at Jorginho, Thomas Partey, um, Odegaard, Saka, Martinelli, Trossard, Gabriel Jesus. Look at the quality that is at the team of Arsenal. It's really immense. Now, you'd love to be having a right back in the names of Ivan Franz Neda to come up and really do the needful at the right back. If you watch Dalo play, Franz Neda is exactly like Diego Dalo of Manchester United. He's fast, 
he's press resistant, he builds well from the back, he balances the offensive side and his defensive side of the game. Going forward, he's excellent. He's excellent. Has some good, good feet. He makes some good step overs. And his decision making is really great. And he has a very good end product to his game. So I think that's why Mikel Teta is in for this player. Because however much in the game of Aston Villa, Ben White comes in through and puts in close to five crosses from the byline. Ateta is not yet impressed about that. I think he believes it's better for Ben White to be shifted back into the central defense to tussle it with William Saliba. Right? To tussle it with William Saliba. Then he brings on... He brings on... Uh, Fresneda to play as a right back and if Franz Neda comes into a side which goes by names of Arsenal, <laughs> I believe he's really going to be he's really going to be so much excellent. He's going to excel in every aspect of this life. Do you know why? He's a player that has always on several occasions reflected all mirrored the flying right backs that Arsenal have been having. If you've not been here at Arsenal for so long, Lorraine Meyer was one of those that played for Arsenal for very many years and he was part of the Invisibles. He was a flying right back. He used to play he used to play well defensively and going forward he was really a very good player. Comfortable on the ball in the offensive area he could go ahead and really take on players perfect cross and could really direct some good shots on goal. That is Franz Neda for you. The other player that you can look Franz Neda in his, he, in his image is uh, Ebue. You remember Ebue? How good he was offensively and defensively? That's another one. And the most recent that was playing at Arsenal that fell out with Mikel Teta is Hector Bellerin. I think you all used to appreciate Hector Bellerin's game going forward. That is it. That is Franz Neda for you. But when you look at Ben White and uh, Tommy Yasu, I think they fall in the category of Bakari Sanya that the best he could get you when he goes forward is a cross. You get? He couldn't sit down a player. You get? He never had a lot of flair to his game. And that's why it was easy for Arsenal to sell him to Manchester City. But he was solid defensively. But going forward, he really lacked some ingredients into his game. That's really what made this player known as known as Bakari Sanya. And to me, I put Benny White, Tomiyasu in that category of Bakari Sanya and Franz Neda in the category of Ebue, Hector Bellerin, and Lolen Bitemi Maya, one of the very good right backs I've ever seen at Arsenal and in the world football at large. So Arsenal keeping tabs on Franz Neda, they have their own reason because they believe they should be having a flying right back with flair attached to his game, balancing the two very well, defensively and offensively. That's what Mikel Arteta is looking for. And in the general transfer window, they had gone in for him. They missed out on him because the player didn't want to make a move from Valdorid in the general transfer window. He believes that he's going to be ready for a move in the summer. And what really puts Arsenal ahead of this is that Mikel Ateta's agent is the same with that of Franz Neda. That's it. And Ateta is linked to very many players. Is linked to very many players because they share the same agent. Zubimendi, Keisido, and Franz Neda and Mikel Ateta all have the same the same agent. So as things stand Ateta looks like he will win the race. And if at all they sign him early enough, he goes with Arsenal to the preseason, then it's really going to be one of those, those signings that will fit into early of the beautiful game of football of Arsenal. The style of play really suits him a lot. So that is it for Franz Neda. Arsenal are really looking up for him and they want to sign him in the summer. Then Denzel Demafries, Fabrizio Romano has gone ahead and said... No way. He has not seen, he has not heard of any negotiations between Arsenal 
and Inter Milan for Denzel Demafries. Now, I think you have sorted to that. The Tomiyasu replacement or Ben White backup is Franz Neda and Arsenal are really putting in all what it takes to sign this player known as Franz Neda. Let's go to the next story. It's all about the game of Arsenal and Manchester City that was played on the 15th of February. That saw Arsenal being beaten by Man City, three goals to one. In a game that would have seen Arsenal score very many goals per City, but because they lacked composure and being clinical, they missed out on that draw only win and they lost three points. Now, we've been told by The Athletic that Arsenal's match with Manchester City last week set a new streaming record for Amazon in the UK, becoming Prime Video's most watched Prime Premier League game, surpassing the previous mark of 4 million set in December 2021 to watch Manchester United and Arsenal. That means in the December of 2021, Arsenal versus Manchester United game amassed to 4 million people that we are streaming in only in UK. This time around, it was Man City versus Arsenal. And we knew why it was going to be that because it was not on BT Sport, it was not on Sky Sport, it was streaming only on Amazon. You get? And it shows you how much money football is really making in. Because if at all, to watch that game of football, you're supposed to pay close to... Let me say 10 pounds. You get? If they had close to f 6 million people watching in, that's how much. You know what it means making 60, 70 million pounds in a space of just how many hours? Two hours. That's really huge money and it shows you how much Premier League is marketing its, its, marketing its game of football because this was one of the most anticipated game between Arsenal and Man City. Reason being... Arsenal had put themselves in a position that if at all they beat a team called Man City, they would have seen themselves go six points ahead of them. But they were beaten and City went on the table, but City unfortunately lost or drew with, drew with Nottingham Forest over the weekend. And they saw themselves, they saw themselves draw points and Arsenal is back on the table with two points ahead of City. So that really puts back a very huge tension, a very huge mm, a very huge number of people waiting for the return leg at Etihad between Arsenal and Manchester City. We are waiting eagerly to see how that is going to happen and how many people are going to watch in that game because it looks like it's going to be a huge one. But it shows you how the Premier League is really good at marketing this league and really getting in money because... There are some games that are on BT, and a game on BT you'll never find on Sky Sports. They don't collide. A game on Prime Sport, it won't be on BT, all. Uh, it won't be on BT or Sky Sports. So it shows you that they are having very many, very many people. They are selling these rights to you, and that is only in UK. They sell rights to United Kingdom. Sorry, United States of America. To Africa, like in Sub-Saharan Africa, it's DSTV, that's my choice with the rights. <clears throat> and I know in North Africa, they are, the rights are given to a, a different team, a different, a different, a different broadcasting company altogether. China and Asia, they are fetching in lots and lots of money. And I believe very soon, in the next two, three years, the Premier League will be gifting close to one billion pound to the overall winner of the league because right now i think if at all arsenal wins the league they are going to be gifted close to 500 million pounds 500 between 500 and 600 million pounds every season that goes on the premier league is really getting in more and more and more money coming in from the sponsors and tv rights it shows you how much they've gone ahead to amaze their rights and they're really making in huge lots of profits and that's why you see the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona are trying to call in for Super League because the Super League is already in the Premier League. Lots of money being made and with the amount of money being promised to every team every season, like 2.5 billion pounds, I think the Premier League is now trying to dig out and 
explode their wings to getting in more money to see to it that they can gift close to a billion pound to a winner of the league meaning that they have no reason to leave the premier league because they know all right if i win the premier league i'll get close to one billion some if i come second i'll earn close to 800 million pounds i believe that income is really going to go ahead and really help these teams and i think that's the blessing this guys of teams going into the super league though they really pulled out but that also created pressure around the premier league and the champions league because in the champions league they are willing to really increase their prize money as far as this is concerned now let's go to the last story of emily smith rowe he has finally gone ahead and he told us who is his best friend at the emirates all at london Connolly, all at the entire arsenal team at large now talking to goal when that question was posed to him he said the following at Arsenal, me and Bokayosaka are very close. We've grown together through the academy. So being in the first team together, it just makes us both really happy. So yeah, we are really close off the pitch as well. So Emily Smith Rowe's best friend at the Emirates is Bokayosaka and vice versa. So it looks like even Bokayosaka appreciates the friendship they've been together. And it's rare, by the way, to see players graduating together from the academy and make it to the first team. It's really rare. It's really rare at Arsenal when we go back to see how they've been really grooming these players from the academy. If I take you back to Fabregas, when Fabregas came in through, I think he was a loner. He was a loner because by the time, no other player graduated from the academy of Arsenal at his age. The others that came in through, I think they had come in through that like Gal Cliche, I think a Bue, Diabe had already graduated to the first team. Who else? I think that's all. In the next era, we saw Arsenal bring in young talents like uh, Edin Ketia. He came alone. By the way, in the recent years, Arsenal has not been bringing in a lot of talent from the academy. Not so. Hector Bellerin, he came in alone. So I think to see these two graduate coming in at the same time is really a plus to them together having worked hard because Saka was at Arsenal at the age of seven. Smith Rowe were the same. So they've been together and they've graduated through the process of all hierarchies set by Arsenal together. But for Emmy Smith Rowe, he had a spell away at Arsenal. He went at Hull City. He went away at Germany. And obviously, Unai Emery found it suitable to give him his debut at Arsenal. And that is Emily Smith Rowe for you, telling us that his best friend at the Emirates is Bukayo Saka. So, your thoughts on Arsenal monitoring Franz Neda? Denzel Demofries deal off. Do you think Denzel Demofries would have been the perfect right back to come in at Arsenal? All Mikel Ateta, he just needed a player who is going to be a backup for Ben White or Tommy Yasu. Then tell me what you think about uh, Arsenal's game versus Man City being the most streamed and breaking the record that United and Manchester City and Manchester United, that Manchester United and Arsenal said in 2021. Rock and David remains my name. Good morning, everyone watching in through. Smash the like button, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in your own daily. I wish you a wonderful day and let's see how we are going to go ahead and really collect more stories today. And I think I'm starting again five, three, five, six hours from now. We are coming in with the Declan Rice story that Arsenal is really trying to convince him with a salary that has been revealed by a certain transfer girl. Good morning. May the matter bless you abundantly. I wish you a very good and blessed day. Bye-bye.